afternoon, I call this business meeting to order. The committee will today consider S-1308, a bill to amend the Indian Self-Determination and Education Assistance Act to extend the deadline for the secretary to promulgate regulation, regulations implementing uh, Title IV of that act and for other purposes. S-1308 was introduced by Senators Hoven and Smith. The bill is a technical amendment to the Progress Act uh, uh, for, excuse me, the Progress for Indian Tribes Act, which was signed into law in 2020 with the goal of streamlining the Department of Interior's process for approving self-governance contracts, compacts, and annual funding agreements for Indian programs. This bill will extend the rulemaking deadlines for a proposed rule and a final rule to September of this year and September of 2024, respectively. I understand these extensions of time are necessary for the negotiated rulemaking uh, committee to finish drafting regulations which were delayed by the COVID pandemic but have progressed uh, significantly. I'll now turn to the vice chair for her opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for the hearing today as we're looking at S-1308, the Progress Act. I want to acknowledge the work of Senator Hoven, Senator Smith for continuing their work to support tribal self-governance with this legislation. Thank you. Uh, you have you have uh, outlined the issues with the Progress Act. This is a measure which I certainly support, um, uh, but would need, hopefully, we're able to address the, uh, the issues that we have seen um, with, with the uh, changes um, that the committee is considering. We've seen the, the clear impact that the Indian Self-Determination Education Assistance Act has had on approving services to Native peoples, transforming Indian country by empowering tribal leaders to better meet the needs of their own communities. Um, I'm proud of the efficiencies that tribal control and self-governments have, have led to. Certainly in, in my state, many of the tribes in Alaska have been leaders in self-governance. The Central Council of Clinkett Haida uh, whose President Richard Peterson serves on the Progress Act negotiated rulemaking committee. So we've heard strong support from tribal leaders and for the, from the department for the extension. I certainly uh, support it and would encourage all others to support as well. Are there any other opening statements? Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator Smith, uh, followed by Senator Tester. Uh, thank you so much. I just want to thank uh, you and Vice Chair Murkowski for holding this markup today. I'm really grateful for uh, my partnership and the leadership of Senator Hoven on this bill. I think he's trying to make his way here, but if he does not make it, um, we're grateful to all of you for um, hope to earn your support. Um, this bill would just give the Department of Interior more time to complete its important work under the Progress Act. And um, Mr. Chair, um, I ask consent to enter to the record three letters of support for this technical amendment um, from um, three tribes, the Skalalem tribe, the Hoopa Valley tribe, and the Swaxan Island tribe. Without objection. Senator Tester. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank the leadership of the committee for the Progress Act because it's critical in cutting through the red tape that tribes face when trying to practice tribal sovereignty and self-determination. This legislation is important to tribes in my state Tribes like the Confederated City of Shakutani tribes who have worked diligently on this rulemaking. I want to thank Senators Hoven and Chair Smith for their leadership on this issue and our swift passage of the tribes get back to negotiate rulemaking to come up with solutions that fit their community's needs. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. We'll now turn to amendment number KAT 23422. Senators Hoven and Smith filed this amendment in the nature of a substitute which extends the bill's rulemaking deadlines for an additional three months to December 2023 and December 2024. Uh, this amendment was not timely filed according to the rules. I need concurrence from the vice chair. I so concur. Thank you. At this time, I'll ask for a motion to consider the amendment. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? Second. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Uh, the amendment passes. Is there a motion to consider the bill as amended? So moved. Is there a second? been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed say no. S-1308 as amended passes, and I want to thank the members uh, for getting the business of our committee uh, uh, completed expeditiously, and I ask unanimous consent that the staff be allowed to make technical and conforming changes. There being no objections or further business before the committee, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>